How's it going, everybody? This is L.A. Kendrick with another tale from the vault of Would You Dare? You know, here we talk about everything cryptid, supernatural, ultra-dimensional, extra-dimensional, alien, portals. You name it, we talk about it. Sci-fi, realistic, serial killers, etc., etc., right? I'm going to try to make this one real, real short today. Remember, take what we're doing with a grain of salt. You guys, please take it with a grain of salt. Use your imagination or however you process this information that we're talking about and discussing here. Also, remember to grab a copy of my book, The Foes of God, which is out right now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble Books, a million L.A. Kendrick books. This is for the fans, for you guys to come in here and sit back and uh, just basically talk about things that you might not necessarily talk about in your everyday life or have people that you can talk about or things that you might be thinking about and say, hey, I wonder if anybody else has thought of these things like I have. And as you can see, it's pretty dreary out here. I just got through hitting the heavy bag in the gym, making sure that I maintain and stay healthy and as fit as possible because you never know, right? Protect yourself at all times. But what I want to touch on today, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please comment, tell me what you think and subscribe okay and uh yeah like i say the part don't start till you walk in and now that you're here let's begin i want to discuss portals real quick now i know you guys have heard of the portals portals gateways to other dimensions other realms to hell heaven whatever right and what you end up having is is like a uh, a space right in front of you out of thin air opening up some people say they've seen creatures come out of it. They've seen other timelines come out of them. Or they can see people come in or, and fade out from past, present, future. They've seen demonic things come in and come out. Um, they've seen things fall, in, fall out of thin air. So the portals basically can apply or appear above you, below you, in front of you, beside you, in all three dimensions. And probably operate on the fifth dimensional plane. You guys look that up for yourself. We also have these things called ley lines, which are an energy, supposed to be energy um, points across the planet that have specific wavelengths that actually activate these so-called portals. Right? I find that pretty fascinating. And you can see stuff like in the Bermuda Triangle. You'll hear people talk about the Bermuda Triangle and how the Bermuda Triangle actually is a gateway and a portal to other things. And that's why people come up missing and you can't, um, you can't see them. They've said they've seen extraterrestrial craft up here in and out. And maybe they're using portals to get to our planet when they do travel. Because in order to bust the Einstein's theory of relativity, re relativity <laughs> I can't even say it, the theory of rel relativity, my apologies, you guys, I'm butchering the word. Um, you can't go faster than the speed of light. So maybe they're using these dimensions, dimensional portals to bend light, to, I mean, to bend time, to bend space or whatever in order to get here. They say the same thing with Sasquatch. One minute you'll see a Bigfoot, next minute you won't see him. They'll say they'll see a trackway and it'll just disappear into thin air. I find that fascinating. I find that very, very fascinating. And again, I'm out here setting the mood because I know this looks, this looks real creepy out here right now. There's absolutely nobody out because of the holidays. There is nobody out here. It's just fog and me and my thoughts and you guys. Uh, I just wonder if there's any truth to it. You know. There are so many possibilities in this universe, in the multiverse, that we don't have the slightest idea of how they operate. And imagine if we could see in more than the few light waves that we can see in, right? Imagine if we could do that. Can you imagine how scary the, rest, this, the environment would be where you're looking around and you're trying your best to, uh, like, I mean, of course, if we were born with the ability to see those things, it wouldn't be any... It wouldn't be freaky or anything like that. But imagine being able to see them. What would we see walking in front of us, behind us? What, what I mean, actually, what's right beside us right now as I'm speaking? What, sta what could be possibly standing right now, right beside of me, that either came through a porthole, portal 
or a dimensional gateway that we can't see. But if we could see it, imagine what we would see. Again, I'm just here talking and speculating and again, giving back to the fans and showing support. I mean, to try to show you guys the support um, that you've shown me over the years with the books. I even have in my book, Skyhammer, I even I actually have a theory of where the Nazca lines are. If you guys know what the Nazca lines are, just check them out, look them up. They're in uh, Peru, South America. And um, you can only see these um, lines and patterns and formations from the air. So you got to think, man, what were these people seeing in ancient times before we were here? You know, we're not the end all be all like we'd like to think. A lot of us think that we're the end all be all. And it's not the case. So. Again, just as just as well as I can see these lines on the ground here. From what I understand, the ley lines would look the ley lines look like stuff like this. I mean, we can't actually see them, but they say that they've registered energy. Where they can see them, and they're stronger at some points, which are the focal points. And they say some certain crystals like in Indiana Jones, the crystal skull, certain crystals actually help magnify and amplify and open up these dimensional portals. It's a very, very fascinating world that we live in. You, the universe is vast and it requires our, our imagination and our willingness to say, hey, there's something out there beyond us. Again, I enjoy these talks and that's why I write about the things that I write about. And in the foes of God, you'll see so much of what I'm talking about in it because I've traversed so many different dimensions, so many different other experiences from from multiple points of views, multiple groups and the battle and things in the book and the, the philosophy in the book is, is, is legendary in my in my opinion. I think I did a very good job on it. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this thing up because I don't want to take too much of you guys time. Get back to whatever you were doing. Enjoy life to the best of your ability, all right? Um, I guess I need to get on the phone and call my mom and see how she's doing back home. And, uh, yeah, you guys tell me what you think. Do you believe in portals? Would you want to be swallowed up in one? Would you want to be walking and all of a sudden out of thin air, something walks right out in front of you, snatches you, and takes you in? Because you know, you know you've heard of those things where they, they're, they appear over water and there are a lot of people that go missing and you never hear from them again. I mean, just the equipment is there, everything is there, but they're just gone. They're just gone. Imagine if that is a possibility. That's what's happening. So whether you believe or don't believe, process it how you process it. And hey, hey, I'm just here sharing thoughts and I find it fascinating. So... This is L.A. Kendrick closing out another episode of Would You Dare? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, you guys remember, check your homes, the dark recesses of your home, the closets, check under your beds, man. And if you happen to work late at night or early to the wee hours of the morning, such as this, make sure you're mindful of your surroundings. You check under your car, you check inside of your car, right? Because you never know what's lurking in the dark that would possibly snatch you into a portal. And until next time, you guys be safe and fill in the rest.